Okay, so it is lunchtime here in Cardiff, and we found a little pub that is called Mohendu, I think. Welsh is a very complicated language. But anyways, we figured we've been here like almost a week, and we haven't really tried Welsh food yet, aside yeah. from Welsh cakes. So we're like, all right, <laughs> yeah, it's time we, to we, actually we, see what Welsh food is all we, about. We've been sick and haven't we haven't been doing a whole lot. So, yeah, yeah. So anyways, we ordered two starters, one main dessert. Sam got a pint. So yeah, we're gonna be sampling all things Welsh. Welsh food. All of it's Let's local. This. this is basically a Welsh food taste test. Mm -hmm. All right, Sam. So I'm starting off with a pint. A, a pint. pint. <laughs> so <laughs> this is, I think, Karu uh, Mokindu. This is the local red ale beer. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to try this. And we think Kuru means boar. Oh. It has a picture of a black Ooh. pig. This is really nice beer. Yeah. Yeah, it has that kind of like craft craft beer taste. Yeah. It's, it's very good. Very good, I must say. And guess what I'm having? <laughs> I'm having tea. Tea toddler. I She's a tea toddler. Tea toddler. Anyways, the appetizers just arrived, so I think it's time to dig in. Time to dig in. Well, 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 for our appetizer, we're starting off with the national dish of Wales. We are having cowl, and when Sam ordered this, he was like, I'll have a bowl of coal. Coal. I'll take some coal, please. Yeah, we didn't Apparently, it's really. a cowl. It is cowl. It's a tricky language. So, but yeah, this is kind of like a, a soup slash a stew. I was reading about it online, and it can have different ingredients. Mm -hmm. So the classic usually has lamb and leeks, but it can also have beef and potatoes, carrots, like different seasonal vegetables. So yeah, this one has potato and carrots. I don't know if this is lamb or beef. Yeah, it looks like it could be beef. It looks good. Let's start with the broth. Ooh, and onions too. Ooh, onions. Gotta like that. How is it? Mm, that's nice. I'm like dribbling all over myself. <laughs> yes, you are. Mm. How would you describe that? It's really nice and like, it's like a really rich broth, really savory. And it's a rainy day here in Cardiff, yeah, so, so it's perfect. so nice to be eating something warm. Highly appropriate given yeah. the weather today. Let's grab some meat. A little bit of meat. Do you try the meat? I'm just gonna cut off the fat because I'm peculiar about things like that. Mm. Good. Tender. Oh my gosh, not so tender. Mm. It melts in your mouth. Got to love that. And they gave us some bread. Yep. Block of cheese. Yeah, we got and butter. We got butter and what appears to be a block of cheese. Uh, yeah, which is so awesome. let's let's get into that. Yeah. And nice. these these. I mean, these are generous portions, but they're listed under the appetizer section. Yeah, these are just appetizers so we right do now. Have, we do have a main coming. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're gonna and dessert, so it's gonna be a gigantic meal, basically. What mm. do you think? I'm going stuff. Can you tell I'm hungry? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> we're both really hungry. We skimmed, we skimmed out on breakfast because mm -hmm. we knew, we knew I we didn't were, have breakfast. I we, just had tea. We knew we this. were doing this, so mm. gotta love it, huh? Towel, thumbs up. Okay, Sam, I'm sharing my towel. Sharing, sharing. All right, so I'm gonna get one with a piece of meat and with a big old carrot. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you find? Oh man, I really like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, it's just the perfect kind of super stew for mm -hmm. like a cold, cold overcast damn, damn rainy day yeah we're in this nice pub and just have eating warm food this so is so cozy this is so good and let me actually try the cheese let me try the cheese slice i also up. think it's a really nice size considering we still have our our main coming i know i don't we're, feel like i'm gonna be stuffed well we'll, we'll see by the time we're done dessert <laughs> i'm just gonna try a bite bread look nice homemade bread my cheese yeah, that's a winning combo for sure. Okay, what's your appetizer? So next up, we're having Welsh rarebit. Mm -hmm. Not rabbit. Rarebit. <laughs> rarebit. <laughs> I can assure you there's no rabbit that? in here. No rabbit. Um, basically, it is kind of, uh, looks like a gourmet piece of toast mm -hmm. with cheese and bacon. Mm -hmm. Cheese melted over top. Yeah, so it can be cheese or a cheese sauce, apparently. I'm not sure if it is cheese or cheese sauce. It could be. Um, Maybe it's both. Yeah, and it came with a little, little salad. Uh, si side salad and something to dip, I think. So I'm going to dip it that in. Looks good. No idea if I'm supposed to do that. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> the cheese is like 
it's really, it has like kind of a creamy consistency. Mm. Oh, it's so tasty. You know, I read that sometimes it can have bechamel mm. sauce with I, the cheese. You know what? I think it might be it in this be one. Be it be does be. kind of have that consistency. Mm. And the thing that's really cool about this is it's, it's a nice um, like whole grain piece, piece, piece of toast, which yeah. you can tell from this side. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just so tasty. I gotta go in for another bite. <laughs> mm. Oh man. All right, so, All right. so far so, so good. So good. Really loving this meal so far, I have to say. Going in for the Welsh from Rarebit. I'm not to rabbit. This looks so good. Like, look at the cheese, it's just melting off. I know. Oh. You're gonna like this. Mm. You are gonna mm. like this. Mm. <laughs> A little mm. less animalistic, mm. maybe? It's good. Isn't oh it good? Don't you mm. think it's, it kind of has like a, a, a bechamel sauce consistency? I think it does have bechamel sauce. And so also, good. a little bit of Dijon mustard. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The mustard Bacon. gives it a bit of a kick, for mm. sure. This is so nice, such a nice little appetizer. I know, and the main, <laughs> main and dessert to come, guys. Main and dessert to come. Poor salad is neglected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Main dish has Maine arrived. Main has arrived. Mm -hmm. So this is Welsh faggots and mushy peas. And we have two giant, like these are minced meat balls. Yeah. And apparently they have um, lamb. lamb in them. Lamb meat. Okay. And then over here you can obviously see the mushy peas. Mm. You can see the mashed potatoes. Lots of gravy. And you can see, and it, apparently it's an onion gravy. Yeah. So it should be really good. So my goal here is to get a little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> in one bite. In one bite. It's peas, potatoes, gravy. I think you've lost some meat there, but okay. I grab the meat. Mm. What do you think? I like that a lot. That, yeah. Yeah, this is the kind of like hearty meal mm -hmm. that if it's cold, and you've been exercising or something, you would come and you would get something like this mm -hmm. and you'd be very satisfied. It's really rich, it's flavorful, and it's very heavy food too. So yeah, I really like it. The gravy's especially good. That's probably my favorite part. Okay, your turn to try the main. Oh my gosh, you know how I said the appetizer was a good size, I'm not gonna get full. I'm actually already feeling a little bit full getting to the main. And there's still dessert to come, but this looks really good. I love mashed potatoes and gravy. I know. This is like Thanksgiving. Yeah. The Welsh edition. Mm. Good. So hearty. It's so nice when you get a little bite of everything. It's mm -hmm. just like, oh, such a nice mm. dish. This is a really big portion. <laughs> I'm glad we're sharing the main. Dessert is here. Custard battle. Look at how much custard they gave us. <laughs> how cool is that? It's all the custard. <laughs> We've only poured a little bit on. We yeah. still have so much left. So what are we having? <laughs> Rhubarb crumble. Ooh, we were asking the barman, like, what's the most typical dessert we could order at a Welsh pub? And he was like, rhubarb crumble. So we're like, let's do it. Yeah. And it looks so good. It looks so good. I love rhubarb in pies or never had it in a crumble. I've had I think I've had an apple rhubarb crumble. Mm. But I've definitely had apple apple rhubarb pie before. Mm. It's really tasty. How is that? So nice. Is it? I love the contrast because the rhubarb is a little bit sour, but then the custard is so creamy and sweet. Yeah. It really balances yeah. it out. My turn. His turn. Again, the portion is really big. Like my gosh, we're gonna be stuffed. We're yeah. both we're both at the at the stuff stage already. Yeah. So, so we're sharing dessert. Mm. What do you oh think? Oh my gosh! Such nice and massive chunks of rhubarb, and I just love how everything's warm. Mm -hmm. Everything is warm here. It's just like, oh, so nice. You know what and we should do at the end? The delayed onset of the tartness. We should oh. each eat these by the spoonful, oh my gosh. devour the custard. custard I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think we'll be able to, if we can finish this, that'll be an accomplishment in and of itself. Well, it's that time of the meal where it's time for price point. Time to say goodbye. Oh, look down here first. We actually finished all that food. It was almost mm. like a bit of a challenge meal. There was mm -hmm. so much food. It was a marathon of a meal. It was a marathon and everything was quite heavy. And, mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have like 
I'm gonna have a world class siesta. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes, you need that. Anyways, on to price point. So in total, that came to 26 quid, mm -hmm. and that included the two drinks, the pint, <laughs> and the tea. <laughs> The two appetizers, which were more like mains, mm -hmm. the main, which was like a massive main, <laughs> and then an enormous dessert to share. So yeah, that was pretty cool. It's basically 13 per person, and uh, we're leaving very full, very satisfied, and we really, really enjoyed Welsh food, and we would highly recommend you to try all of these dishes if you're visiting Wales.